Hi there. Welcome to the MPC Beats Academy. Now, in this lesson, we're going to be adding some tape stop and lo-fi effects to our melodic melody using MPC One's plugin effects collection. So let's play the beat of what we've made so far. Now let's press our solo button so we can hear the sound in isolation. Now to add these effects, we need to open up our channel strip. So let's press our icon at the top and now you can see that I've got insert effects added to this sound. Now if I double tap, I can edit any of these plugin effects and I can also use my encoders. So let's add some reverb. We'll mix in the wet and dry. And now let's step back and we're going to change the channel strip plugin to a filter. So we'll select the air filter, go to our edit and now we'll add some lo-fi. Add some drive. You can also change the filter type. Then adjust the cutoff frequency. Now we'll go back. Now to add our tape stop effect, let's go to our empty slot and we'll go down to our category harmonics and select XY effects. Open our edit. Now it defaults on beat repeat. So let's scroll over to tape stop. Now that's selected, let's go to our home page and let's close our channel strip. And we're gonna go to shift and grid edit. And then we can automate the on and off parameter on our tape stop. So we're in our grid edit, open up our parameter. And here you can see different velocities and volumes push down on the data wheel and we're going to add new. We go down to our program instrument, select this and go all the way down to insert four XY effects and select enable. Now we can add our automation. So let's use our grid and we're going to zoom in on our timeline. Then we're going to use our toolbar selection and we're going to take the pencil icon and we're going to draw in our tape stop effect, turning on and off. Now let's select our magnifying glass tool and we can scroll down to the end of our timeline. And then we take our pencil tool and we're gonna do the same here. We're gonna draw in the automation of tape stop, turning on and then back off. Let's play our track. And we can hear back our automation. Zoom back out. And second one. You can also adjust the volume of the instrument by using your encoder. On our next lesson, we're gonna add our 808 bass line over our track. So, see you next time.